in the Emirates, Globy was able to drive in the sand for the first time. Deborah and Mike, two of our followers, who live in the Emirates and also drive a 6x6 truck, had invited us to drive with them to a desert festival. Of course, we gladly accepted this chance for a great experience. The first day of driving went without any further problems, so we set off the next morning without care in the world. It is interesting how the colors and the sand itself keep changing. It's much more exciting than we initially thought. Mike had been given a tip about where we could spend the night, not too far from the festival. We looked for this place for a while, but couldn't find it. As we didn't really trust the deep sand, we decided to turn around and drive back towards the main runway. You wouldn't believe it. This little mini hill stopped us easily. So we had to try again with a slightly different direction and a slightly less incline. Damn, that didn't work either. Slight nervousness was spreading within Globy and also a certain sense of helplessness. But there's no point, we have to get out of this sandpit somehow. And then finally it worked. We were able to climb the hill in a wide arc. And then we picked up our legs, um, our tires of course, and sped off. The relief was almost tangible for both of us. We were able to drive to the desert festival itself in a car. The first item on the program was the award ceremony for the camels, or more precisely the dromedaries. I find their feet interesting, they can really walk super softly. The calluses on their knees and chest, which protect them when lying in the sand, are also interesting. The award is a great honor for the family of the winning camels and they cheer accordingly. In the afternoon, a few traditions were performed next door, such as the man's classic stick dance. And of course, in the Emirates, the falcons cannot be missed. Such beautiful animals. Handicrafts such as weaving or copper hammering are also shown. After a long night by the campfire, with great stories, we drove back towards Al Ain the next day. The route runs largely along the border with Oman. And a longer section runs through a beautiful dune landscape. Globy had a hard time here and there with the deep sand sections, but practice makes perfect, as is well known. The really nasty thing is that it looks completely harmless, but this ground was like powdered sugar and really put the engines to the test. We were grateful for sections with firmer ground. Yeah. 
dusk is slowly coming, but we still have to overcome this chain of hills before we get to the next level. And this climb is also not to be underrated, but man and machine master this challenge too. Then this is done too and we can enjoy the sunset and the great landscape. <laughs> 